Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, from the time of this taping, it's been a little while since I did a tutorial of any type. I'm going to do some experimentation. I noticed that some videos from some uh, other YouTubers, they got this speed up, speedy Gonzalez thing happening. I'm going to give that a shot here because my videos are just way too long. Okay. I'm going to try to explain how to do a basic, regular type of cresting wave um, nothing really special just to show you how to develop it there's many different ways hopefully this one method will be easy for you to grasp and um, you can go on from there with it okay first off I'm gonna take my trusty gel and water mix all I have is some water soluble gel like KY jelly or hair gel mix it with water um, it's got to be it's got to be loose but also thick enough it just uh, holds the paint keeps it wet longer okay um, and that's all I'm putting on here right now okay now because I got it mixed with water it will evaporate with the heat of the light lamps and such you don't need too much of it and for the water I'm just I have to cross you here I'm just gonna Add a little bit of a uh, little bit of of uh, phthalo blue, maybe a touch of white. I'm gonna have the wave come up like this. Up like that come around down like that okay just like so the this would be the crust of the wave in here so draw a little circle right around there like like this okay it will be the same thing here but off it would be off the picture and then the bottom part of the wave would be somewhere around here like that. That's all basically you would need. Alright. I have nothing to do with anything back here. This is the main area in here. Sometimes you can have the, the crest go a little level. Mine's just kind of sloping the other way. Alright. What I'm going to do is re-wet this bottom part okay and yet I'm gonna add a darker uh, blue just above the dark the bottom part but I'm gonna uh, put a nice little glow similar to that right up in the, in here okay so I'm just gonna wipe off the brush and I'll start off maybe with my glow okay I'm just cleaning the brush I don't need this type of brush for that I'll get my rather beat up. What is this? This is a number eight round. So I'm gonna go right up in here with a glowing color similar to what you see up here for the clouds. Okay. So it's just a little bit of well, what I have on my palette is a uh, mustard yellow. Cad red and a little bit of the titanium white. I'm add a little more, a little more red in there, just a touch. You have to go in a in, in a in a direction in a wave like tube like direction something like that see this oval it's like you're continuing the oval just like that 
even if it was under here, you would continue the oval going down. You follow me? So just continue and go in that direction. Same thing here, same thing here. It's going outward. Everything goes outward. All right? Now, that I've done that, hopefully my back didn't cover up everything. I'll find out in the video. Just cleaning off the brush. I'll set this right here. You want to get a dark mix down below. And then in, within that dark mix, you want a darker blue mix in here. And you want to blend them all up in a circular fashion into the bright area. Or which, which will be the bright area. Yeah, remember, the only way this can show that like, it's glowing is that anything surrounding it has to be dark. Follow me? So. With that said, let's go back into my little glop mix of uh, water and gel. And I'm going right underneath, all in here. And a little bit more up into the wave itself. It's fine if you get little streaks and whatnot. That's fine. Not hurting anything. Now I'm going to mix a nice dark color with um, phthalo. In that direction. Stroke up and into your wave. Like so. I'm going to get a little bit of this red and the yellow. Mix it in there. A tad of white. direction with that color. As you see I'm I'm getting <clears throat> a little bit of that blue in there. Which is not what I wanted, but that's okay. You can keep going back over it. That I can take care of. That's no problem. Drying the brush. Back and forth in a round direction. Obviously, I got way too much blue in this area in here. It can be wiped off. That can be taken care of. Actually, I should use a different brush for that. This one's a little too, uh, a little too stiff, but it's okay. Just an example, just showing you. As you can see, I can keep building on it anyway. But I think that's starting to make sense to you. You see how it's forming? Okay. It's a little rough around the edges here. You keep blending. Okay. Just keep blending away. It's okay. Add a little white to it. a little longer than others. That's somewhat like that. 
Alright? I'm just wiping off the brush here. Now, I'll go back into the deep, dark mix I have in here. Put a little more blue in it. I'm going to dip into a little bit of the water. Loosen it up a bit. Because it's just not dark enough for me. Just have it meet a little bit. Those other streaks. Have it go further in on some of them. And not as much on others. I kind of particularly want it dark around in this area. Especially underneath the wave itself. All up over here a little, a little darker. Get a little water. you again, sorry. It's that left-handed thing, guys. Apologize for that. Maybe if I get a, a stand large enough to go way overhead, we won't be bothered so much with seeing that. Anyway, let's move on to the wave. Okay. Well, you see the edge of the wave, the crest in the, in the the bow over here with, comes over. You want to, uh, this will be filled with uh, like a white mist and foam all around the corners here. A little bit up, up on top. Alright, uh, before we do that, we're going to actually do the water itself. Uh, you can use flat brush or you can use the uh, fan brush. A lot of people particularly like to use a fan brush. Okay. I don't really uh, mind. Either one really does well for me. Uh, this brush here is a little too stiff. This is actually an oil painter's brush. I'm trying to see if I got one a little softer. I can't find it at this time. So I'll just do make do with this one. Alright. I'm going to dip into my titanium white. Just a touch of that dark blue. Okay. And we're going to go. I need a lot more titanium white. And follow the lines. Try to get as close as possible. Okay. I didn't add no kind of glazing medium to this. So I'm, it's just <laughs> scratching it right on there. Go right off the tape with it. Keep it in a uniform circular motion. Okay. Still need some more coming down here. Which is why I'll keep going over it. If I had glazing medium, it would be a lot easier. But I'm not really too worried about the glazing medium. Okay, this is just an example. Just to show you. Alright. Pick up some highlights here and there on it. But remember, never go straight down with it. Okay. Especially around this edge here, down there. Alright, something like that. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm dabbing into some more.
right in here. I still want I'm lightly well, if I choose to speed this part up, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see the difference. Lightly give it a glow. Very lightly. Narrow it down as you get toward the other end here. Just get wiping up a little more color. Dipping in a little more white, a little bit of the yellow. Just in certain spots, I just wanted to really stick out and glow. And I'm trailing it into the dark. Okay, much like that. Okay, now. I'm going to rinse this off real quick. I still want the bottom edge to... I still want the bottom edge to be a little darker. So, I'm going to use a flat brush. A little trusty flat brush here. Some more of the phthalo blue. A little bit more of the red. Mix it in there really good. Just a touch of water. Loosen up a bit, almost like a glaze. Cause I still want a little darkness to seep around in there. But this time, because there's a lot of turbulence and a lot of stuff happening in there. Okay. I still want to give a, give a slight sweeping motion. Still in the direction. Of the, of the wave, go into it from the bottom. And go straight, go from the bottom. You don't want to do like half up here and then go in because it's going to leave a mark. Okay, much like that. But here in the bottom down here, it's pretty dark. And if I want to show any kind of movement in all of this, I'll just well, right now, I want it pretty dark, so. The only way to really show a crashing wave coming in, that would be pretty, pretty rough down there, pretty dark. All right. And I want it a tad dark here in this corner. So I'm going to get a little water. Get back into my dark mix. like so. I still want that dark and I want that too light. Alright, now I'll highlight certain instances and little peaks in there. Then we'll work back here. Do 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 If that's a little too crappy looking, okay, it's still wet. Nice circular motion. You can blend those in a little, a little bit. If it's still pretty wet, you can blend a few of them in. Just here and there. Not, not all of it though. You can blend, soften it up a little bit. We'll fix all of that up there. Let's get to some of these streaks. You do it with your liner brush. All right, get the liner brush in water. Get a little white. Okay. I don't really like to use pure white. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this little bit of blue. And the important part is let's aim you down a 
a little bit. Let's concentrate right here. The important part is keeping the flow of your wave. All right, let's just do one. You gotta keep the flow in the direction of your wave, like so. Okay, gotta use plenty of water for this. And keep it about as haphazard and crazy looking as you can. Just like uh, direction lines, like you're doing like a little cartoon or something. You know how they have the little direction lines? Okay, or maybe you can something like that. All right, all up in here is it's more of a curve in that direction. Stuff like that. Okay. Now, when it comes to the waves themselves, they're in all sorts of patterns and all sorts of crazy directions. Uh, and you just want to hit the highlights. Stuff like that. Just really crazy stuff. This is too bright under here. Alright, but I'm going to let it dry and I just glaze over it. Darken it up a little bit. Alright. All this back here can be glazed a little darker too. I'll show you that real quick. Just dipping into more red. More of the dark uh, phthalo color, clean that water. <clears throat> okay, Put all in all in the back back here. You want the water to be kind of tumultuous, and basically you're playing with shadow. The further back, the less turbulence you'll get. Okay. You get deeper shadows toward, get that out of there, toward the start of the wave itself. All right. Yes, you hear him. He's quiet for most of this session, and all of a sudden he decides he wants to bark. That's okay. Right now, like I said, I'm playing with the shadows here. When I get towards the back, I'll play more with the, with the light end of it. Okay. Shadows. Alright. So let's take some of the white, some of the yellow. And we'll dab on a few of the highlights here and there. Right on top of your dark. Just little bits and pieces here and there. And we're going to go lighter still as we get towards the horizon. Okay. I won't use such a thick brush on that one. We'll rinse off the brush a little bit. Of course I didn't show you because the camera's not further back. My bad. supposed to show you with all the little highlights here. But I've got to get me some more white. Dab some more white on here. Looks like I might need a little more yellow too. There, just a little yellow. Alright. liner brush got some water on it sorry I gotta keep crossing you guys but you know like I say it's that left hand syndrome thing sorry forgive me okay highlight 
in the back back there. If you don't have a steady hand, you know, get yourself a mall stick or something. I can highlight on top of what I've done. You have it cross, interesting pockets of highlights. Follow some of the lines that you've done. With a highlight brush, it's good for you to keep plenty of paint, loose paint on it. Get it to an inky consistency so it doesn't run out as much and glob on you. Okay. Don't worry about it being super bright because as it dries, it dulls down a little bit. Okay. So don't be so worried about it being super bright. Because you might find, out, uh, find yourself going back over it again and again, depending on how bright you want it. All right. Got to dip into some plenty of uh, water. Mix the colors again. You want it kind of a really inky consistency so it flows off of your script liner um, nicely. Okay. And if you want to hold it like a pencil, you have more control. If you want to hold it far back, more random, but you get a finer line. Depends on, like I said, how steady your hand is. Now, as I get toward the back, okay, the lines are a little more level, like so, and longer. If you have a steady hand. Alright. If you don't have a steady hand, get this over mall stick, ruler of some sort. But pretty much like like that. Try to keep your hand as steady as you can. Okay. That horizon line is pretty sharp back there. The horizon line should be brighter. Okay. If you're a little nervous about giving yourself a bright highlight on that horizon line, then uh, just don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to start from this half here. Yeah, it's pretty much like a pencil. Feel it touch, slide your hand right across, if it breaks don't worry about it, it's more interesting that way, okay, now if you see if it's drying, it's actually, um, it's not bright enough, and you end up going over it again, okay, now for me it was not bright enough so I'm going over it again, And sometimes you might have to go over it a few times. Right now I'm just using more pure white. And just a little bit of the other color. Just to make it stand out. A little more. I'm going to go over it one more time. I just really wanted to. The horizon to stick out a little bit. Okay. Crossing over. Now I'm a lefty so I can't, I'm not going to use my right hand to go in the reverse direction. So I'll just go like so. Start right off the paper. Slide my hand right across. Do it again. Just like so. All right. Just a quick wave study, no more, no less. I can easily add interest to this thing. Um, let me do that before I sign my name on it. Like I said, I'm using that little speed up deal, so I'll see how that works. And if I don't like it, I'll probably nix the whole thing. All right, let's put some kind of rock around here somewhere. Uh, do it with this brush. I don't have too much dark left. I'm just get a little water, try to mix in with this red and this uh, the phthalo blue and the cad red. Try to get a pretty dark mix. And maybe I might want to put um, maybe. Let's darken it up a little bit. Just 
subdue it a little bit, like so. See, it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that much either. Alrighty then, let's do something with all that. I'm going to dip my toothbrush into some water, dip it into pure white, that'd be kind of watery, mix, like so, and A little mist here and there. Maybe in here. Okay, down below a little bit. Somewhere, uh, a little bit of it in here. So some little, little mist, little spray all over the place. Okay. Bring it in a little closer so you can see that. You should be able to see that pretty good, yeah? And you add as little or as much as you want to it. It's all up to you how much you, of it you want sprayed on there. Of course, that paint's a little thick. You have to put some water, definitely put some water in to thin it up a little bit. And then you go ahead and add some more. So you add as much or as little as you need. Okay. The more you add on it, the wilder it looks. Okay. Actually. So I'm, you can come past the rock here. I mean, you got a great uh, violent little thing there. Alright. Let's go back a little bit. And there you go. Okay. That's the simple version how to make a wave in acrylic anyway still got the glow got the gentle fade from the, the really dark to the regular blue to this little weird orangey glow situation over there I put the rock there just for a center of interest and it uh, makes the wave a little more a little more menacing all right I'll sign my name to this mess And call it a video. If you like, let me know. If you don't like, let me know. It's a quick one here. Um, I know somebody had mentioned that they want they like the way one of the ways I've done. And uh, tell them I'll make a tutorial of it. How to construct one. Just take a lot more time than obviously I did. But like I say, it's just how to construct one, how to do it. Um, it's really the same formula for this type of wave. The one where it just crashes in and everything. Um, like I say, the more you spray, the crazier it looks, the more wild it looks, the more untamed it looks. And it gives you a better pictorial image if that's what you're looking for. Definitely one of those more rugged type of waves. And if you wanted to darken and deepen the back, back here, all you could, could have done was just glaze it even deeper color so it, the wave would stick out even more. Okay. But that's basically, basically it here. Okay. If I did it right, you got a nice crisp white border that's, uh, with it. Hit the like button if you like what you see. If you want more of this type of thing, uh, let me know. Can't read your mind. So, let me know if this is what you would like. And, uh, I'm getting to it here. And there you have it. All right. Not too bad for under an hour. Well, at least as Adomius is under an hour. But there you have it. All right, you got yourself a little wave going. Um, yeah, hit the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more where this comes from. Um, just let me know what you're looking for to be done. I'll slow it down, and, and um, you know you can uh, 
do with it what you will. Um, hope this helped you out. And uh, give me a shout out. Let me know. Until then, I'll see you next run.